Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Icron 8 3D avatar into the Unreal Engine 5.3 with the body motion and facial expressions like this. So, start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. For the final outcome, if you import your 3D avatar into Unreal Engine, it will include the facial expressions with the morph target as well. So now, let's have a look. In my Icon 8 3D animation software, now I already created some of the facial expression with the body motions. If I try to play, you can see this is exactly the body motion with the facial expression. So how are we going to export the whole 3D avatar together with the facial expression morph target and the body motion and finally just import it into any of your Unreal Engine 5 game project. So the step 1 in Icron 8 3D animation software, you have just to click file export the FBX. Then the target tool preset choose the Unreal Engine. Before that, you have to make sure you already selected your 3D avatar. The target tool preset choose Unreal. Then, the export range, you choose the range because just now I already marked the range. The FPS 60, embed the texture. Then, just click export. Then, as there are more, I will just export it on my desktop. I right click to create a new folder, name this folder as Icron Avatar. Then the file name I'm going to just name this as Icron Avatar 01, as FBX, click save, click OK. Now just check the folder, wait for 100% it is going to export as FBX here. Alright, now you can see the FBX already exported here. Next up, I'm going to show you how, how are we going to import it into Unreal Engine, which together with the facial expressions morph target <coughs> and also the body motion. So now this is the Unreal Engine 5.3. Then as there are more, I'm going to just click game to create a, a third person game project as there are more. The project name is my project 8. I click create and just wait for a while. Now the Unreal Engine 5 is creating, is creating a new game project here. A new, a fresh new game project is loading. <sighs> right now you can see this is the third person game project. If you try to play now as demo, the female mana queen UE5 is the main avatar. So to import the to imp import the Icron 8 3D avatar with the facial expression and body motions, what you need to do is just click the window content browser to call out the content browser once, drag and drop to the bottom like this. Next, click the content to make sure you are in this folder. Then right click to to create a new folder, name this as Icon Avatar. Icon Avatar 01. Press enter two times. It is going to enter this folder. Next, just import the FBX file. Drag and drop the FBX file into here. And you have to wait for a while for the FBX import option. Make sure you turn the you expand the advanced until you can see the import morph target. 
this is related to the facial expressions so you have to make sure you take it then click import all and wait for a while now it is importing once it finished imported it is going to show you a message log you can just close it then Next, just have a look. Just check your, your 3D avatar here. Right. And then the texture is not set up properly yet. We just check this. This is the skeleton. And we check again just now. We in iClone 8, we click File, Exports, FBX. Is that included the motion? All right. Now we can see actually the motion is not imported just because of we made a mistake in the FBX import option. So I just click the first one, hold the shift, click the last one and press delete button to delete everything. So we have to check the mistake, which mistake I had made just now. Drag and drop again the FBX to import it. Then just now I already expand the advanced and I already import the morph target. Next, we check the animation. The animations just now I forget to tick here. You have to make sure you import the animation. The animation length choose the animated time this is very important click import all again and have a look now you can see it is importing the animation track maybe you need to just wait for one minute until it finish import the animation Sometimes it may take a long time to import the FBX with the body motions. It depends on how long is the body motions and also the facial expression. It depends on how, how many frames. Now it just left about one, 108. It just left about 8 frames. It is going to import the animation track frame by frame. It almost finished for this. Now it is still importing the skin assets and once it's finished, it is going to pop out a message log again. Just check it. Now we can see the animation sequence is here. Then this is the skeleton mesh. Just double click and check the skeleton mesh. And then we are going to fix the material. Just scroll down until you can see the material. Where is the material? It is here. Just double click it. And then make sure the blend mode you choose the mask. Then then click the empty area. Just make sure two sides take it. And the opacity mass, you can just drag the alpha to the opacity mass. Then click save. Then check again your avatar. You can see everything already well set up. All of the material already set up properly. Right now, I can just click save and close this. Next, we are going to check the check the animation sequence. This is the one. You can see all of the facial expression 
and body motion already imported into the Unreal Engine 5 and you can make this as your game assets. It is really simple. Just make sure to import the animation and the morph targets. And you can see all of the graph of the facial expression as well. These are the graph. Right, everything already imported successful. successfully. Now I'm going to close this and I click save. Right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to import the Icron 8 3D avatar into Unreal Engine 5.3 with the body motion and facial expressions. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!